It is the Lieutenant Governor's in my honor to introduce the Honorable Elspeth Ellie Seifer, a strong and experienced legal candidate who we are proud to nominate today to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. Justice Seifer has served the last 16 years with distinction on the Massachusetts Appeals Court and prior to that in the Bristol County District Attorney's Office as the Chief of Appeals where she oversaw all matters going before the appeals and the Supreme Judicial Courts. She has done so in a way that has engendered the admiration and affection of her colleagues. We know her 30 years of leadership and legal experience and thorough knowledge of the workings of the appellate process will serve our Commonwealth's highest court and all those before it with honor and fairness. And on behalf of the Commonwealth, Lieutenant Governor Polito and I, we want to especially thank Justice Margot Botsford for her service and wish her well in her retirement and her future endeavors. I want to congratulate you, you and your family and your friends and your co-workers who have supported you along the way. Governor. And congratulations to Justice Seifer. Uh, this is a, a journey, uh, not only through this process, but also a life journey bringing you to this point. Um, I've had the uh, honor of working with the Governor's Council in the hearings that take place, uh, uh, and soon yours will be scheduled. It really is a, an, an, a viewing of your entire your life. And it does underscore that the decisions that you make, both personally and professionally, matter. So it's a pleasure to be here tonight or today and just recognize uh, that you are here today because of your intellect, because of your dedication, because of your commitment, and also because of how you treated a lot of the people along the way that you've worked with, as well as those that have come before you and demonstrating incredible fairness and impartiality in your work. <laughs> and then just a, a personal connection uh, to our nominee is certainly through uh, my mentor, Paul Salucci, uh, who uh, recognized your talent uh, at the Bristol County DA's office and called upon you uh, to uh, join the Massachusetts Appeals Court uh, when you were confirmed back in 2000. And uh, we certainly appreciated his good judgment then, and we feel our judgment today uh, mirrors uh, that what they saw in you uh, that many years ago. Uh, obviously, in the appeals court, you have distinguished yourself, uh, deciding approximately 180 cases annually, authoring uh, between 60 and 75 of those decisions yourself, and uh, your proven work ethic. I heard that over and over again from many who, um, who contacted us about you. Uh, you're tireless. Uh, you have a passion for the law and, of course, getting to the right outcomes. Uh, and we know you will bring that forward uh, in your work, uh, hopefully uh, confirmed throughout, through this process. I want to also th say thank you uh, to our partners in government on the Governor's Council. Uh, Marilyn Devaney, uh, Bob Jubinville, and Joe Ferreira are here, and the others who are not here today who give uh, a lot of time and energy and effort in this process. I also want to thank uh, the SJC nominating committee uh, for your special attention to all of the candidates who have come forward to be considered for this nomination. We had outstanding individuals to consider, and we thank you for joining us in vetting all of the candidates. First, to just thank you, Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito. I appreciate your confidence in me, and I'm honored to be nominated to serve on the Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts, a court of great tradition and history and reputation. I would also like to thank the Governor's Legal Department and the Judicial Nominating Commission. I am, of course, deeply indebted to my family, especially my spouse, Sharon Levesque, and to my friends and colleagues at the Massachusetts Appeals Court for their support. I would also like particularly to thank for their encouragement and support Massachusetts Appeals Court Chief Justice Scott Kafker, with whom I've had the honor of serving for 16 years, and Supreme Judicial Court Chief Justice Ralph Gantz, with whom I hope to continue my service. I'm looking forward to participating in the next step of this important process, meeting the governor's counselors, and I appreciate that you, some of you are here today. Um, I'm looking forward to that process. It's an important process, an important part of the public hearings, a vital part of the Commonwealth's judicial selection process. Thank you all very much for coming today. I look forward to this. Thank you.